But before all that, we've got a cracker at Hillsborough, where a very healthy crowd turned out to see if Alan Irvin's Owls could make it three wins out of three since he strolled into town. I think you know the answer. Definitely worth having a closer look at. Now, I know it's unusual to start a roundup with shots of fans leaving the stadium, but bear with me here. 25,000 Wednesday supporters left Hillsborough humming the tune Don't Stop Believing. They went home in a great mood on Saturday. They'll still have felt good on Sunday and not had the mick taken by Blades fans at work today. That's what winning means. Rewind. From the moment the game kicked off, the Owls made it quite clear they wanted to boss it big time. Now it's another corner which Michael Gray will take and it's glanced in and Sheffield Wednesday have taken the lead and it's Marcus Tudgay who's the scorer. His first goal in 12 matches right on the stroke of half-time. A glancing header. Marcus Tudgay has clearly found some confidence under the wings of new boss Alan Irvin. His last time on the score sheet was October. Quick note to make, only sell for really silly money. And just have a look at some of the faces here. Happy people offer a pie and a, a trip to the gents or ladies at half-time. Second half and struggling Peterborough had obviously had a bit of a set two in the dressing room with manager Mark Cooper, son of Terry. He was using his best sign language to spur his team on, but they clearly didn't get the message. Almost two for Wednesday, but no Jeff Hurst doubt about this. Unlucky Leon Clark, it didn't quite cross the line. Now here's Potter with the corner from the left-hand side, swung in, Lewis hasn't got there, Tudgay's header, his second goal of the game, Marcus Tudgay returns to form in style, and Alan Irving's homecoming is going to be an extremely happy one in front of a big, big crowd here at Hillsborough, it's Sheffield Wednesday 2, Peterborough 0. Now this is clever. Just watch how Tudgay not only loses his marker here, but how Wednesday totally bamboozled the posh defence to end up marking the wrong people, leaving the goal scorer free to score a goal. Two up, great joy. After that, the visitors seem to find a bit of something. It's lashed in, and Peterborough pulled the goal back. And it's the Tottenham loney Jake Livermore, who swept the ball past Lee Grant from right on the edge of the penalty area. It's Sheffield Wednesday 2, Peterborough 1, it had been coming. The end was tense, but Wednesday held on. Under Irving, it's an upward journey. Certainly I've inherited a lot of lads who are prepared to, to listen and, and to work extremely hard and um, try and put into practice the things that we've been talking about. And um, I've been delighted with the response that we've had, obviously. Um, they're going to have to do that for an awful lot more games this season because uh, we're still in a position where we need to dig ourselves out of, uh, of a, a bad situation. Perfect start for Alan Irvin, Dean, but he's keeping a very level head looking to the future. Yeah, he's, he's very experienced and you know, he, he had a great learning uh, chore off uh, David Moyes at Everton. Then he went into Preston and did first season was fantastic and then uh, obviously got the, the sack from Preston, unfortunately, and then uh, he's gone in there now and steadied the ship. Which was a surprise. I mean, Wednesday wouldn't swap him for anybody now. No, they wouldn't. And it's amazing how players respond to new managers. Um, you know, Marcus, Marcus Tuggay there, you know, scoring two goals and he hadn't scored you know, in the last sort of uh, 15 games or something like that. So, uh, you know, it's important that, like you, you said on the your VT there, that they keep hold of him. Absolutely. And you said Marcus Tudgay, he's got a new spring in his step. And Wednesday generally, why is it when a new manager comes in, he can't be doing anything drastically different from Brian Laws? No, I don't think it's just drastically difficult, but it, different, sorry. It's, I think that when, when players, a new manager comes in, they want to prove to him that they're good players, they want to prove that, that they want to keep in the team. And when, when they start winning, you know, they haven't lost since they've been there, and, and that breeds confidence. Well, let's have a look at uh, what this weekend's result for Sheffield Wednesday has done to the table. Hasn't changed the top half as far as, the, far as they're concerned. Sheffield United just sitting outside the playoff places now. And as we look at the bottom half, well, what a difference three games make. Sheffield Wednesday now five points clear of the drop zone and they've actually jotted above Scunthorpe this weekend too. 